Um, there was it, on the subject of the city. Uh, people always email me and they say, "Well, let's let's build it," and they assume that we're going to all just live there, like it's a commune. Can you re can you re reiterate the importance of getting away from the communal idea and express the reasons for yes, the city? Sir. If you build a commune and you had sustainability and that you grew your own food, you manufactured your own electricity with windmills or solar cells. And that, that is an attempt for some people to maintain their ability to survive. <clears throat> Actually, Peter, if you had commune survived and millions of people were unemployed and hungry, they would invade your commune. Do you understand that? Yes. You cannot live to yourself. Yes. Not anymore. Those days are gone. People can climb over your wall and take your commune away from you. You have to concern yourself with all nations being well fed and taken care of. As long as you have separate nations, and as long as separate nation, nations control most of the Earth's resources, you're going to have territorial disputes. Think about it. You don't take my word for it. Until we learn to share the Earth's resources and work to improve the lives of all the Earth's people, you don't have a reason for attack. Yes. You must do away with the cause of, of militarism yes. and military attacks or military attempts at bringing democracy to another country. I would say that's false. The real reason we go to other countries is to tap their resources. So even if we built a nice, comfortable city and the rest of the world was hungry, we'd be invaded. The first city, if we can get it going to be what we want it to be for the Venus Project, would be a research center to promote this direction in every way possible. And it would be a planning center for the next city. And we would be having people there that would, would be producing in any way possible things to get these ideas out, such as books and videos and movies, to reach all different types of people. And then we'd invite people from all over the world. We'd have a section of it, maybe one-eighth of the city, left to in, for people from all over the world to come and visit and, and, vis and see the city, and then go back and hopefully they would do one city in their, in their part of the world, and it would gradually spread. The building of the city would be lower cost than any other type city because it's not built for conspicuous waste. Right. It's built for energy consumption and to save resources and to promote a higher standard of living. And many things would be prefabricated so we can build another city quickly and efficiently. We're working on a film now showing these new cities. They're immersed in lovely gardens with waterfalls, ponds, lakes, flowers, trees. They're not just uh, machines for living. Right. They contain all of the elements of beauty that people would like. Wonderful. It will really set a new standard for, for city design, I think, once we get these animations out there and the new movies about the city. Wonderful. That's fantastic. I'm, I'm sure everyone's looking forward to, to that by all means.